priest is appointed to offer gifts and sacrifices, thus the necessity for this one also to have something to offer. If then he were on earth, he would not be a priest, since there are those who offer gifts according to the law. They worship in a copy and a shadow of the heavenly sanctuary, as Moses was warned when he was about to erect the tabernacle. For God says, See that you make everything according to the pattern shown you on the mountain. Now he has obtained so much more excellent a ministry, as he is the mediator of a better covenant, enacted on better promises. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Shout, 
You are the son of God. He warned them sternly not to make him known. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, today first reading and the third portrait is ten. Those four years that we recited, here I am, Lord, and come to do your will. Let me connect this third portrait is ten to the life of today's saint, the night saint. She did what the portrait is ten tells us today. Or we seek the will of our Heavenly Father in our everyday life. And the high priest, we heard of all these details, we heard. And we think into the priesthood more deeper and deeper. The priesthood gets the meaning when the community is there. If there is no community, the priesthood loses its meaning. The priest represents the community and to, to gather with the community and the priest, we worship and glorify God. That is the beauty of the Catholic teaching together. In the absence of the priest, the community is but a community. And through the baptism, we all are called to participate in this priestly ministry. It doesn't mean that the priest always offering sacrifice, but we all together participating in the holy ministry. Each one contributes his or her own way for the presence. Not the financial contribution, more than our real presence. That is the real meaning. That makes the holy mass more personal to attending the Mass and the participation in the Mass through our presence and experience the presence of our Lord by coming together, sharing together and praying together and worshiping together. It gets more meaning and more personal. And that is the call we all got through the sacrament of baptism. Again, today's gospel passage the healing ministry. Because of the miracles of the Lord, by healing the people, they began to crush him. So this tells us that the healing ministry and the spiritual ministry, body and soul, go together hand in hand. We cannot separate the body and soul and treat in the right way. No, it goes together. It is united together. The spiritual healing took place when the physical healing also taking place. It goes together, support each other, protect each other, take care of each other. And that is the importance of the healing ministry. That is what our Lord tells us today. So we need to take care of ourselves. Be healthy physically. Once your health is good, that will help us to become more spiritual life, spiritual healthiness also. So understand all this needs together, all this together makes our spiritual life more stronger, deeper, and Christ is on the day. Amen. Amen. Amen.
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for the Lord of Corona and the patient for the Lord of the Titan team. All of them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our Blessed are you, Lord God, of our creation, for our goodness. We call us the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth. Work a human hand, it will be good for us. The bread of life. By the mystery of this wonder and why we may come to share the divinity of Christ from the kingdom to share in our command. Blessed are you, Lord God, of our creation, for our goodness. We counsel the wine, we offer you fruit of a wine, work of human hand. It will become our spiritual drink. Wash me, Lord, when we can cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and words may be acceptable, God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord accept the sacrifice to your name, for the glory and glory of his name, and our giving to the cause of the Holy Church. May the offerings we bring in celebration of blessed Agnes, with your gracious acceptance, O Lord, be you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is through the right hand of just our duty and our salvation. Always and ever we will give it thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Agnes. Pour out like Christ to glorify your name. Show forth your marvelous words, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the people bestow strength to bear your witness. Through Christ our Lord, and so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly ordered. And before your majesty, without the end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 You are indeed holy, O Lord, the form of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending your words, put it upon the like the before, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and then there healing into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the dance of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of God. The mystery of faith we proclaim in the day of the Lord and the pleasure of resurrection and the day of the Lord. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer the Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in the presence and minister to you. Completely pray that partake of the body bread of Christ, we may be gathered one by the Holy Spirit. Reign of the Lord, your church, breath was the world and we have the fullness of charity. To go with the Francis or Pope, they took to our bishop, to pray to Bishop Curtis Peter and all the clergy. Lord, we offer this holy mass for Andre and Amen, that's their special intention. Bless both of them so that they all will have a peaceful and joyful and healthy life. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection and have died in our mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. How much you know, we pray that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed of her spouse, with the Blessed of Hosea, and all saints who have patience toward the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is the word forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the same year's command and prompted by divine teaching, we learn to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil, graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, say, for this place, as we have the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord is now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who is the repose and the peace, I give you, my peace I give you, who from all our sins, from the faith of our church, and the gracious take that your peace and unity in accordance with the will of will live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace Christ be with you. Lamb of God, give the ways of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Before the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those God and to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my mind, but only say the word and my soul shall be
bestowed for blessed Agnes a crown among the saints. For the twofold time of virginity and martyrdom, grant me pray through the power of this sacrament that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May our blessed the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Word peace to proclaim the good news through your life. Thank you, God. Thank you.